High School. Today is Monday, September 21st. I'm Michaela. And I'm Amy, and you're watching Viking News. French Club members' t-shirt money is due to Miss Toby no later than today, September 21st. NHS applications should be submitted by Wednesday, September 30th. Senior court photos will be made during fourth period tomorrow, September 22nd. The gym program has been canceled for September 22nd. It's that time of year again. The 2015 Viking Pinkout game will be held on September 25th at home against Elizabethan. Spanish club members need to stop by Ms. Williams' room to pay your $5 dues and vote for officers. If you would like to be a member of the Spanish club but don't have the money for dues, please let Mrs. Williams know. Club photos and junior court photos will be taken on Thursday, October 22nd. If you are a club sponsor and have purchased a yearbook page, please have your officers chosen by October 22nd. Now here's Olivia and Minnick with your weather forecast. Hey, I'm Minnick and this is your weather forecast. Today is a high of 74 and a low of 57 with a 50% chance of rain and scattered thunderstorms. Tonight will be 57 degrees with a 50% chance of rain. Tomorrow is a high of 76 and a low of 56 with isolated thunderstorms and a 30% chance of rain. Now back to the studio for your cafe watch. Sports news, the freshmen, junior varsity, and vo varsity volleyball teams will play volunteer in Viking Hall tonight. Freshmen at 4, junior varsity at 5, and varsity at 6. Come out and support the B-team football team as they play Daniel Boone. The game is in the castle at 5.30. In local news, one man is under arrest after reports of shots being fired outside an ETSU fraternity house. Just after midnight, the officers were called to West Maple Street for a disturbance. Police quickly pulled over the suspect's vehicle and said the people inside were intoxicated. Gary Taylor was arrested and charged with aggravated assault. In national news, a flood in Zion National Park struck on Monday afternoon, killing seven people in Keyhole Canyon. Search teams found the seventh body Thursday morning in Pine Creek Canyon. The people in the group were between 40 and 50 years old and from California and Nevada. The Park Service has not identified any of the victims, but the Sheriff's Department in Ventura County, California, said in a statement that one of the people killed was Steve Arthur, a sergeant and 21-year-old veteran with the department. That's all for Viking News. Have a marvelous Monday.